Hey everyone, Tanner Bell here. Welcome back to Maker's Gonna Learn. In today's video, we're gonna teach you exactly how to use the engraving tip for your Cricut Maker using the Quick Swap housing. I cannot wait to share with you guys all my tips and tricks for working with your engraving tip, as well as using some amazing Cricut aluminum sheet blanks. This is gonna be a really fun video because we're gonna walk you through the entire process on how you can work with your Cricut Maker and engrave. It's gonna be really easy, so if you guys have not already hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that if you are new here, and if not, be sure to hit the thumbs up button to um, help support this video, and we are super excited to jump into it. So let's go ahead and set up our design in Cricut Design Space. All right, guys, if you are over on makersgonnalearn.com, which is our amazing die cutting community, you'll be able to scroll through over 1,500 amazing cut files. If you guys are not already a member, be sure to head over there, check it out, and grab a membership today so you're able to craft right along your Makers Gonna Learn family. We are so excited because we have already selected a design right here that says 100% handmade. Now, today we are going to cut this on one of our uh, four by four sheets. So this is one of our four by four Cricut brand aluminum sheets. So my first tip for this project is to go ahead and take a shape. So we are going to take the square and we are going to make it four inches by four inches. So this is going to represent our amazing design. What we're going to do now is we are going to be able to click arrange and click send to back. So the square is our aluminum sheet and we are going to make sure that we size the 100% handmade to be able to fit in the center of that. So we're going to go ahead and change that to white for us to be able to easily see it. And then we're going to click on the hand lettered cut file. We're going to unlock it and we're going to kind of go ahead and scale it down before we unlock it, just like so. And you guys can see here, we probably don't want to unlock it and try to stretch it out too much because I think this will fit perfectly. So there's a few ways you can go about this. You can go ahead and attach these two cut files together um, and it'll be perfectly centered. But then what will happen is it will want to kind of um, etch around the border, which you do not want. So what I'm going to recommend for this process is to just go ahead and delete out your square. And then I'm gonna share with you guys how to center it up on the map. So we're gonna clear that out and we've sized it. So now we're going to press make it. So right here, we're going to zoom on in on the map. Now what you're going to want to do is I like to place anything that I'm using an engraving tool with, anything like that, I like to position it kind of more so um, in the center. So I like to pretend that the mat is not over here in the top left corner. I like to go down to the one by one mark. <clears throat> so that is where we're going to place our aluminum sheet. Now we're going to look at it and say we have, you know, five inches and we're going to kind of center it right here between that. So you'll be able to move it down and you'll be able to center this up really easily. So we're going to put it at the two inch mark because we're going to place our aluminum sheet right here at the one inch mark. And then you'll kind of see we have a little bit of space. And then just for full picture, we're going to add some pieces of masking tape right at the top of our aluminum sheet and at the bottom. I'm a little worried that you, we may not have enough room on the sides to put more masking tape. So two pieces will do perfect for this um, and it's really easy. Now, one thing I forgot to do because I was too excited about formatting this is we need to go ahead and click cancel and we need to switch this from a cut line to an engraving line. And you want to make sure that you right up here next to make it, you are under the maker family so that when you want to go over to line type, you can switch it from cut to engrave right here. So be sure to select that. It doesn't make the image look any different and you'll want to press make it. And then the only downfall is we just have to reposition this which is not bad whatsoever. So we're gonna reposition that right on the mat where we're gonna want it. And then <clears throat> we are gonna press continue. 
So now we are going to want to connect to our Cricut Maker. Now what you're going to do after you've connected is you're going to click Browse All Material. Now since we've told it to engrave, it's going to let us know what we can engrave and what we cannot. So you'll see right under here for foil and metal, you'll see the aluminum sheets. So we're going to click on that and you'll know it's a Cricut product because it has the little C over to the right, which is awesome. Now we can press done. And now it's going to say load the tool and mat. So it's going to let you know to be sure to load the engraving tip in clamp B. And now we'll be able to switch that out as well as prepare our mat. All right, guys. So we have these awesome aluminum sheets right here in our pack. And you guys get four of these in the four by four pack, which is, I think is a really good deal. So now you're going to want to go ahead and take the little piece of plastic. There's a piece of plastic on each sheet to protect it. It's pretty thin and I really do like these. I think it's going to be an awesome for a ton of DIY projects with your maker. So now what, like I was saying is you want to position it right here at that one inch mark right here in the corner and you're going to want to place it down just like so. And then just for extra safety, you would be able to kind of just go through and be done with that. But because we want to be extra secure, feel free to grab some masking tape and put it on the bottom and the top. My favorite tip is just to take a little piece and then take my nail and glide it through and then press it down. <clears throat> and now we're going to repeat that to the top of the mat as well. Because we have no cut lines anywhere near that, it'll be perfect. And you could put some very close to the edge on the sides, but we do not want to affect the engraving tool whatsoever. So now let's go ahead and prepare our blade in clamp B. All right, so now you're going to want to open clamp B and you're going to take the fine point blade out. And then all you want to do is you want to take this right here with the clear plastic that wants to be facing you and you're going to place it right here into clamp B. And it's that easy. All right, now all you want to do is load in your mat. And now you can go ahead and press the flashing cricket button. All right, guys, we've unloaded the mat and you can kind of totally see it. I want to make sure you guys can see it here on camera. Um, that you have been able to engrave with these awesome Cricut aluminum sheets, 100% handmade. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to take it off the mat and we're going to try something that I've learned in metal stamping, which is to kind of take acrylic paint and to fill in those edges so you can read it better. We love doing that with black acrylic paint. So we're going to test that out for today's project. And then you could add this adorable aluminum sheet to a piece of wood or really anything. So let's go ahead and zoom in. So right here, guys, you can kind of see it's totally engraved. So what we're going to do to hopefully help being able to read this, you know, just across the board is after we kind of dust away all the excess, um, I would just take a little piece of paper towel to do that. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of dab some acrylic paint on here and we're going to spread it across and then we're going to wipe away the excess. You may need to grab a little tissue or something. We're going to use paper towel, but feel free to use whatever you may have. So you're just going to take a little drop and then you're going to want to take it and just kind of work it in. And hopefully it's going to fill in those edges. And then what you're going to want to do with a few different paper pieces of paper towel, just lightly wipe away the excess and you can start seeing a lot better results. You can start seeing it come together. I would definitely recommend something under your surface. And as you guys can see, as we wipe it away, we're lightly making sure we don't go too deep in the crevices and you're able to start seeing your engraved piece a lot better. And in my opinion, this just finishes it off so much. And as you guys can see, acrylic paint does take a little bit to draw, but even as it draws, you're able to clean it up really well. All right, guys, check this out. Imagine before, before we were able to kind of go through and quickly add some acrylic paint. Now you're able to see it and it looks so completely finished. So I'll be able to go through and clean up any more spots of paint that I see that is kind of hang, um, still on the piece.
piece and then you'll be able to add this to whatever you want for your project it is so cool and it gives such a finished detailed piece to a piece of aluminum um, guys if you have ever tried to metal stamp or anything like that you'll know how hard it is and how there's so many you know different ways to fill with this so i highly recommend this as a solution to metal stamping or anything like that with this amazing engraving tool because now you'll be able to let the cricut do the work pick your favorite fonts and then you guys have been able to see how easy it is to fill it in with acrylic paint for amazing results what did you guys think about learning how to use your Cricut engraving tip? We love, love, love this new product from Cricut as well as these awesome aluminum sheets. If you guys are so into this and you want to learn even more about making advanced projects with your Cricut, be sure to check out our Cricut Pro course series. We have two courses under that series and they're super awesome for learning how to do really amazing advanced projects using your Cricut and mastering your docketing machine in brand new ways. If you are someone that wants to level up and become a pro, be sure to check it out. We'll have a link down below and we cannot wait to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.